no, 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 no. I can't do stuff like this. No, 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 no. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Show's over. Show's over. And we can arrive the boogie. Hello. I hope everyone is having an amazing day. A while back, I started a found footage journey. It turned into a quick trip because I haven't been back to found footage, but I am today. Um, so yeah, so today we're watching the Poughkeepsie tapes. I don't like the name of it. It sounds terrifying enough. I don't know anything about these tapes. I haven't seen a thing about this movie. It came out in 2007, so I was in middle school. I'm really stalling here because I'm kind of ner nervous. I'm just gonna go. We're just gonna go ahead and watch it. Uh, but before we jump in, please comment, like, and subscribe if you like what you have seen so far. You can definitely join down below, become a member, or go over to Patreon and join there where you can see the full watch along for this and get early access to the edited versions of my reactions. I do want to give a huge thank you to everyone who is members right now because without you none of this would be possible so i appreciate you guys so 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 much even if you're just viewing this video i appreciate you like you do not understand anyways let's just go ahead <laughs> oh my god okay let's just watch <laughs> let me go ahead and turn this down in my ear because y'all not about to set me up uh -uh. no 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 it's so, this is such a fast movie. It's only an hour and 21 minutes, which tells me we're just going to jump right into it. I don't know anything about this movie. I think it has something to do with murders. And I know it's found footage. Is this her funeral? The story of Cheryl Dempsey. Oh, okay. Became is truly one of the strangest, most disturbing things I've ever come What she became? And I've been doing this for close to 25 years now. Yeah, well, let me go ahead and get the blankets already here. We already ready. What? Ah! <laughs> he just pulled a body out of the grave? The Poughkeepsie Tapes. This looked like it would take place in the 90s, but I don't actually know. This music. Mmm. -hmm. I'm so scared. <laughs> that was just like a, I don't know, I had to let that out. I was like holding it in for a while. Part one, there's parts. I had a tenant in this house here who was a very terrible person. I'm sorry, this seems like a parody. <laughs> this is the house where they found the Poughkeepsie tapes. Mm, I had to get real serious real quick, sorry. It was my job to watch and log all 2,400 hours of the Poughkeepsie tapes. First month alone, I couldn't sleep for more than an hour or two at night. <gasps> torturing and murdering turn him on or a memento that he can save for long after the murder one guy one cup is that what this is one night i brought some of the tapes home with me my wife watched about half an hour of one of the tapes and a year before she let me touch her again i think that's a you problem though i think she used that music as an excuse to be like you can't touch me anymore the tapes when we searched the yard we found the bodies of two women uh there ah there <laughs> I'm sorry. This seems like I'm watching Parks and Recs low key. Like, Parks and Recs tried to do a horror episode. Honey, you've got a big storm coming. I think mockumentary styles have like ruined my brain. It's obvious that they'd all been killed in a horrific manner. So we just got bodies in the backyard. Inside me here is one complete set of the tapes. Those are all tapes? Is he about to walk for five more minutes? When people think of serial killers, they think of four or five people, you know. This is about one person. One person he killed. There are somewhere between 25 and 50 active serial killers in America. I wonder if serial killers have gotten more, like, under control with all the technology of today. Or if they're still kind of like... Over a hundred hours of weird balloon stuff on these tapes. Balloon stuff? Yeah. So we're into balloons. Like this? She's gonna pop it. Pop it! Pop, I can drop it. I don't know why. I know it's gonna pop, but it's gonna scare me. First blood? Three of you will go home tonight and decide that this is not what you want with your life. Some terrible people in this world who do unbelievably terrible things. 
Mm. He got in a fight, lost a job, got left by his wife, something like that. Went out in his car and at some point said, the next vulnerable person I see is dead. I do have to say that I like that the fact that this is told through the point of view of like, oh, it's a documentary of the FBI investigations and things they found type. Wait, so is this, so this is the serial killer. Leave the little girl alone. Hi. Mm-mm, run aside, stranger danger. I like your dolls. I hate this. I said, I like your dolls. Would it, okay. I'm not supposed to talk to strangers. Good, now go inside. You know, if, if I was the big bad wolf, there's nothing you can do about it. Who? Wanna bet? Wanna bet? What, you wanna say something to the camera? Uh-uh, he's getting too close. I wanna punch him so bad. I am a happy, pretty little girl. No. Good, now go inside, please. Where, where, mom and daddy. Your child is in. Oh, get her. He took her. He just hit her. He just took her. He has her. He wants to put her in the trunk. You know what? You just took a white little girl. They about to be on your ass. <laughs> you took a white little girl. They everybody about to be an uproar. Another little white girl that fell down the well. Like she had been hit in the head with a blunt object. We found there was a missing girl, Jennifer Gorman. Poor Jennifer. Fitting the description, last seen in similar clothes. Ugh. Bad attack with my daughter. I think somebody took her. Like, Yard, there's blood out there. Please do something. Person, we have to wait 24 hours. That is the stupidest rule I've ever heard. We have to wait 24 hours. Okay, let's give the killer a whole day to figure out how they're gonna torment, torture, and kill, you know, said kidnapped person. That's so stupid. Like, it's a, like a five-year-old little girl. She is missing. What kind of a, a sick bastard, right? Blood. Footprint. <laughs> This acting is a little bit questionable, but I mean, it still it's got me. I'm, I'm a little shooky, ain't gonna lie. Hey, you having a little car problem? Yeah. This oh Lord, that Jennifer for Aniston. Would I get a lift into the next town? No. Hop in. Yeah, no problem. Hop in, Bob. Why did you do that? I left that man on the side of the road. It's to the right here, just a couple miles off the freeway. You from around here? Not really. He don't, he not, he not from there, but he know how to get places. That's not, that don't add up. Uh-uh, he about to mess y'all up. It's just stupid, just stupid, just stupid. There's not going to be a gas station in the middle of nowhere. Ooh. I don't like how real this looks though. A Poughkeepsie couple vanished over the weekend, seemingly without a trace. Oh, Poughkeepsie's the town. Authorities still have no leads as to the couple's whereabouts. Here is a man who's figured out he's good at something. He good, because they stupid. <laughs> it's like... Places it over her mouth. With his left hand holding the camera, he's reaching it out and holding it in front of her face like this. He's sick. He was literally like, like he's filming it on purpose. Like, look at what I'm doing. He knows that it's only a mile or two off the freeway. In fact, the station is abandoned. I bet he knows that too. And he had a ready-made excuse for the camera. That man said nothing. <laughs> this man is what we call a mixed killer. He's a biracial killer? He's biracial. Wake up. Come on, wake up. He really wanted just her. Which is even worse, like your husband, whatever he was, like being stupid got you in this situation. Is that him saying that? Huh? <gasps> Did he stab her? Today, the search for a missing Poughkeepsie couple ends tragically in a wooded area of rural Pennsylvania. The corpse had a head placed in its abdomen in a what? Hmm. <laughs> man's head in a woman's body. This is two murders, not one. I mean, put the husband's head in her body. <sighs> and we went to every gas station along the route. It took some doing, but we did manage to get our first video image of the killer in this manner. I want to see him. But he just, he signed something. Everybody know what he's saying? Red House. We found the second body in the woods behind a place called the Red House Tavern. Mm. So he wanted them to find it. He signed this. 
before he even met the others. Me? Not only does he know how to dispose of bodies, he knows how to dispose of bodies in many different ways. Elizabeth Jackson was abducted in hands. Another one. Killer then took a circular saw and cut off her head and hands. It's almost impossible to put it all. Oh, not the fingers. There may be a. That's her. Is that her head? Between finding the head and the torso. <laughs> Bye, bro. Here's a killer who understands bureaucracy. Say, <laughs> here's a killer who understands. <laughs> Usually a killer won't think through their first dismembering. So they go out in the garage and get a saw and take some hours to get the head off. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That was funny. They'll often go and get a real saw. Something that cuts through quick and easy. It's delivery. <laughs> I guess he just wanted someone to appreciate how good he is at this and the thought that maybe we'd be strangely sort of impressed with it. No. No. After seeing what he did to Cheryl Dempsey, I could feel nothing but loathing for this guy. Oh, the other killings, you were proud of him, but this one, no. <laughs> so he's just listening. And this is, is this the one that, like, is the, the big one that, like, he just did the, the most on? This man just welcomed himself into her home like it was his. That's cold blooded if he killed you with your own knife. Not his own. He went to your kitchen and got your knife that you bought at Home Goods for $25. He's gonna use your knife. This is why I'm paranoid when I'm taking showers. Mm -mm. Hello? Is that you? Him! Tim ain't say nothing, so now you should be concerned. Or even get the soap out your eye. You ready to fight? Hello? Hello? Ooh, ooh. Hey, what kind of ice cream did you want? Whatever. Chocolate? Done. I need Tim to look around better. Like, ugh, I don't know. <laughs> He's right there. <laughs> you scare me. You shouldn't jump out at somebody like that. Sorry. Tim already caught these hands. You wanna stay here for a while? Maybe for a little while. They got the most awkward relationship. <laughs> that him in the, like, yes, that's him. He's still in there? Is that a mask on? Yeah. Oh, I thought I saw something in the corner. <laughs> I'm starting to fall asleep. I don't feel that. I would feel just like his presence. I get a little scared here by myself. <laughs> I think I might too. <laughs> he is right there, in a way. <laughs> what the f- <laughs> Oh, oh, she saw it. Run, run, get up, run. Get up, bro. I was not expecting it to just pop off like that. Ooh. Okay. All right. All right. <sighs> Three days before Cheryl's abduction, she told me sometimes I feel like maybe someone's following me around. Ooh, Lord. You gotta sit here and torture this girl. No, 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 I can't do stuff like this. No, 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 Is it two people? Oh, no, it's one. It was a shadow. Shut up! What the f- What the f- I can't, No. I didn't. <laughs> his head had been crushed in, kind of like this. He had been cut from his anus up to his throat. What? <sighs> his genitals had been removed and they were placed in a sock drawer. He put him in a sock drawer? Probably dumped her body in the woods. No, I wish he would have dumped her body in the woods. The truth we later learned from the Poughkeepsie tapes was that this killer had carefully crafted the murder site to mislead us. 
coupled with his dark sense of theatricality and masks and costumes and whatnot, shows that this man is extremely mentally ill. No, I just, I, I, <laughs> what? Uh, this character went out of fashion hundreds of years ago. It's Dottore Pest, the doctor of the plague. And that's the mask he wears. Oh my god, we're back to her. Hold on. Let me get it together. Wait, wait. Okay. I hate torture. I hate torture. I hate torture. Especially when it like looks real like this. I killed your whole family. And he didn't. He's just telling her this. Tell me! We want to be Phantom of the Opera so bad. No! No. Ah. Uh, is he about to put her head underwater? <laughs> yeah, no, I watch this. Oh! No, 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 no. Why? Why? You're happy! I killed your parents! Just kill me, bro. Just kill me. You don't have parents. You're a slave. He said you don't have parents. You are a slave. I'm so uncomfortable. <laughs> I've never been this disturbed. This is on the level of like human centipede and all the tusk for me. Like, who do you like? I could punch him, bro. I, oh my god. I hate this. Did you want me to kill those people? Yes, I don't know. That's yes. That's why yes. I did it. Thank you, This is my biggest fear. This is my biggest fear. <sighs> Please bring my daughter back home. Oh, wait, he just going up to her house. Where are the cops? Stop this man. If, if there's anything I can do to help, please let, let me know. Thanks. These are literally the dumbest cops ever. So you're just going to let a random man walk up? <laughs> oh, my God. Is he laughing? I play that moment in my head over and over again. Why did she say, oh my God? I knew it was him and I didn't stop him because I was scared. Oh, she, God. I don't want to see any more of this, bro. I'm just gonna throw it at her. Oh. She's a drink that with a gag in her mouth. What the? Oh my god. What the f I just feel so bad. I'm just so disturbed. Uh. By the summer of 93, the area was really starting to feel the effects of this man's How long did he have her? This killer did something quite unique. He kept killing, but changed his MO. What? What you doing out here? Waiting for a friend? <laughs> I don't stop talking to this man. Oh, that was easy. He really just went up to her. So she just there while he's doing the other murders now. We started getting word from the prostitutes that worked that area. The girls are getting arrested, never being heard from again. This is Insane. This is actually insane. Well, no, no, no. And Cheryl. No. Mm -hmm. I'd rather deal with demons. I'd rather deal with demons. <laughs> what is that? A knife? He gonna make her kill her? He's gonna make her kill her. He gave her the knife. <gasps> All of the victims. I can't even like talk this movie because what am I watching? Slice from mouth to ear. Found matching sperm on four of the bodies. This is the sickest man in the world of sick men. Like Theodore Robert Bundy. I remember the first question he asked me was, did he write? Oh, he talked to Ted Bundy about this. <laughs> Let the girls run, please. Sure. Why don't why, why don't you come in? No, 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 no. Why is there no adult with them? You know, there's a lot of weirdos out there, but I'm a policeman, so it's okay. 
Hmm. I just want to know peace for a day. Like, I just want to know peace for like five minutes of this movie, please. No. Thank you. Look at little mom on the right. She waited. She looked at it. Hey, did you? She didn't drink hers. No, I live over on Dupont. That's where she live. Do you, do you tell your your parents where you go? Yeah, I tell them the coordinates, the exact street, the addresses. This one, my child is my child is getting an air tag. I'm on them at all times. Mm -mm. It sounds like I'm not going to be able to get cookies today. That's great. Get a raccoon in the basement sometimes. There's no raccoons around here. I'm good. Let them know. Let them know. You want to see the no. raccoon I got in the basement? No. Oh my god, they were so close. Why don't you let yourself out? You should go home and tell your mom about the raccoon that was in the basement of that man's house. Then your parents need to visit for this man even inviting little girls into his home. Sounds like something got loose down there. Oh, wait. Oh, I hate the noises. This mask is gonna haunt me in my sleep forever. I'm just happy the little girls got away. We found an unwashed glass of water. It had a fingerprint. It came back with a match. It matched my partner, Jim Foley. Hmm. We knew we had our man. That's him? I wanna elbow him couple times death good good when they came and arrested my dad we got a son this remind me of the clove hitch killer Foley had no alibi for these murders because he was a cop oh he was an actual cop i thought he was lying secondly he had a history of getting prostitutes cindy jackson took the stand at come on sydney i'm proud of you girl I kept telling him jim they're gonna kill you if you don't cop a plea Good. I had to hope he didn't cop that plea. Guilty. <laughs> My father. It's over and he needs to be punished. Thanks. Aww. It's gonna be so sad. But I think that your life should be spared. What? I do know, like, some people are like, no, it's the death penalty because that's, like, the easy way. Or, like, whether or not they should, like, rot and think about for the rest of their life what they've done. I don't know. Oh, her voice. The governor has not granted reprieve. James Foley will be executed within the hour. Hmm. Okay. Two members of the execution team are preparing their injections. Mm -mm. All the women he killed. He's afforded the opportunity for prayer. The condemned has declined this also. I bet he did, Lucifer. You know, this is when I think they should have brought back, like, the brutal ways of torture. Did, like, the Game of Thrones thing where they, like, poured, like, hot gold on his head or something. Something really harsh and cruel. He don't deserve just an injection. James Foley died by lethal injection. 12.24 in the morning, September 9, 2001. I would have been in first grade. Part 6 missed one? So she's still, she's still there. They said you gotta get down there and see this. Was another body. A Shelby, Shelly, what was her name? <laughs> One of those. Cheryl. I don't know. <laughs> Jury convicted and sentenced Foley to death. Good. I couldn't even finish the Dahmer Netflix. That's is that her? Three days after my dad's execution, I realized that he had been innocent. The article on Dad gets bumped down to page six. Wait. What? Former cop cleared of charges after execution. Nobody heard that they found him innocent because of 9 11. <laughs> what? Serial killer kills cop using justice system. In September 11th happened. No one gave a shit. Well, yeah, because I mean. Only praise on prostitutes. If you're not a prostitute, your defenses are going to go back down. Hi. Hi, you having some car trouble? Oh, yeah. That wasn't him? Oh my god. You know, you you really shouldn't be out here by yourself with that Water Street butcher on the loose and all. <sighs> it's, it's, it's it's him. It's it's Let me drop you there, then you won't have to wait out here alone. You wouldn't mind? <laughs> Not at all. I'll be arrested, yeah. You you ever been arrested? So it's another cop on the force? I need them to get like an undercover cover like woman cop or something to like, I don't know, roam the streets and figure out who this man is. Where is Olivia Benson? We need her. I think that was the exit to the gas station. There we go. 
Can, can, can I ask you something? No. Why did you call me off? Well, they, they do. But I'm not one. I'm, I'm not a cop. You're not. No. I'm a serial killer. That's not very funny. Girl, smash the window. How to open the door. Who are you then? I'm a butcher. Girl, I need you to try to open the door. I know it's probably locked, but just oh, sitting there. Where are you going? Yeah. Well, how about this? I'll make you a deal. Yeah. We'll we'll pull over, and I'm gonna. Rape you. What? Damn! If you've been good, and you haven't done anything stupid. I won't kill you. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. No. <laughs> and she. What else is she gonna say besides okay? You're not just gonna let me. I don't believe you. Not me watching this during Women's History Month. What? Obviously, I wouldn't leave handles on the doors. Oh my god. Uh uh. I just start kicking. I don't know. I don't know. What do you even do? What do you do? What do you do? This is terrifying. The noises. Oh my god. The fact that they still haven't found this man is crazy. <laughs> what is that? What is that? I don't do the crawling. I don't do the crawling and it's got faster. Is that oh girl? Is that him? Girl, you better be happy you can't see what that was. Him, he's just wearing the another mask on his head. I hate. What is he about to do with that? Ow! Ah! 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 Oh! Why, bro? I'm never going outside again. I'm just not. I'm not interacting with any men. I'm not going outside. I just think that's how I'm gonna live the rest of my life. This killer knows how to play the profile exactly the way he wants. Let me read a couple of these profiles. Disorganized. Lives alone. Mm. Sadist. Sadistic. At least we got that part, right? <sighs> See, I don't know. They got they got no clue. They're lost. I led the assault on the house. So I like to say, uh, we dropped the whole hammer on him. Took y'all long enough. He's so happy and so cocky about it. You took too long. Should have did this five women ago. And this house just looks like a normal family home. Ask me <clears throat> how we found him. First, we didn't find him. <sighs> he wanted us to find it. Because it suck. Of course you didn't find it. Further evidenced by the fact that there was not one single fingerprint in the entire house. Wow. Hey guys, come, come here. You ready? Mm, it's a body. Medic in here. Get a medic in here now. I would not want to live for that. Honestly, I didn't. Do, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. All the trauma you about to know. People kept trying to tell me all those years that I should probably start to move on, but I wouldn't. Mm. But then I got the call. Kept that slave in Poughkeepsie. We found your daughter. She had been burned, mm. cut. She had five teeth removed by pliers. Oh. She had multiple broken bones. Not only mm -mm. there also was a severe sexual torture. I'm sure. Electrocution of genitals. What? Things that are too horrible to say out loud. Good. Don't say it. Don't say it. I don't want to know. Brutal pain had been such a huge part of her life for so long she didn't know how to exist without it. Well, I I can't imagine. Change seeing Cheryl after all that time. How long was she in there? It was hard to see the girl that I loved and the girl that came back. She's never going to be the same. She can't. Like, there's no way for you to be the same. After months of lobbying with MCs, we got an interview with their daughter. I'm scared. Ooh, I wouldn't even... Like, that's traumatic. He loved me. He never lets me say it, but it's true. Mm-mm. There's a trauma bond now. What? That's so sad. That's actually so sad. I, I, 
The recently buried body of Cheryl Dempsey was stolen from her grave. It happened here last night at Woodlawn Cemetery. The feeling is that the fact that they have not caught this man is killing me. There were 27 tapes missing when we found them. I wonder if they were just too private for him to let anyone see, or maybe they were worse than anything that we've seen. Probably. Probably that part. If this documentary thing you're making ever gets to the theaters, he won't be able to help himself. He'll see this movie as many times as he can. I believe that. That's so sad. For Cheryl Dempsey. Mm -hmm. And with those you lost too soon, may they never be forgotten. And they have the names. If I'm correct, this is not actually a true story. They made it because it seemed like it was so real that people were like terrified. I've never been so disturbed. They did so good with how real everything came across. Like I said, I love the story of like, this is a documentary about, you know, a serial killer. As if you were watching like the Reels channel, you know? I'm so, I just can't get some images out of my head right now. This was actually like a really, it's a good scary movie. Like I'm terrified. To me, an aspect of watching a good scary movie is obviously being scared by it whether or not it's like jump scares or whatever but it keeps you in and reeled in because you're fascinated by what is this man doing the fact that they leave it so open ended with him never being caught and Cheryl Dempsey still being well was you know being alive was just oh my god this was a choice for my found footage journey glad I can check it off my list honestly because will I come back to it probably not if you guys enjoyed this and liked watching me be traumatized and want to see the full reaction, then you can head over to Patreon or just join below uh, to my YouTube and get access to the full watch along. Follow me on Twitter because I will be talking about this movie and how much it hurt me. I don't despise the movie. I think the movie was actually really great, but I hate how real it was and how much I'm just affected by it. Join the Discord because sometimes I do try to do some movie nights in there. Yeah, thank you guys for watching and I uh, can't wait to traumatize myself some more with some more found footage. As always, leave me some suggestions below and uh, yeah. I'll see you guys later if I make it through the night. And we can arrive the book and share that feel of love. I wanna ride the